Hey everybody, so I'm finally live now and I'm just so excited to be here. So basically, yeah, I've had such an amazing time these last few weeks and um, yeah, things have been absolutely amazing and I've achieved so much and um, yeah, so things have been going really, really well. <laughs> Um, so here's a little funny story. So moments before I was meant to start, um, I basically, how should I put this? I basically had what's called an optical migraine. So I suffer from these from time to time. Funny enough, I didn't have one for four years and then I had one, I think last year I had it three times during the year. They only go for about like, 20 minutes or something like that so anyway um so mine's went up about almost up 20 minutes and I was thinking why am I getting this right before my live broadcast out of all things so immediately I took painkillers and once you take it immediately it dim diminishes most of the side effects so I've got a little bit of a headache but it's it's um it's it's easy to cope with Hadn't I had taken the tablets, maybe it would be a different story, but anyway. Um, so yeah, now I've got a glass of water right here, so I can stay hydrated in case. That feels good, so um, anyway, that will keep me going. But yes, um, yeah, funny enough, it's a really funny condition. It's basically like a migraine, except there's uh, flashes in, in either... One of my eyes or both of them, usually it's in this eye, so then I'm kind of like blind at the same time. So <laughs> so that happened right before and I was like, why? Why did it have to happen like right now? Anyway, I'm here now, I'm refreshed, I've got my water, I've got some lollies over there as well. And yeah, so, oops, no, all good. So... Time, from time to time, I didn't realize, but I may get notifications come through and that may block my screen for a little bit. But anyway, otherwise, I'm here now. I'm so excited. I'm so happy to move on forward and talk about all my latest news. So, well, let's just cut to the chase. So basically, um, a lot of you may have seen, oh, I have to say most of my Facebook friends at the very least, um, saw my recent, um, so my recent achievement in being published on the cover of Playboy Croatia. So I'm so overwhelmed about, about it and um, y you know, yes, I was I was named the Playmate of the Month for October, so that was truly an honor. And yeah, so I'm just, it was just so exciting for me. And on a further note, um, thank you, Anthony R Randall from Toronto. Um, it was such a pleasure to work with you. It was such a pleasure to come to Canada and finally work, to work with you after, what was it, three years? I'm going to stay hydrated again. But yes, basically, um, yeah, so I had connected with Anthony quite a while ago and I finally had the honor of working with him, yeah, three years or two and a half years later basically and the whole experience was so phenomenal just to pose there and just like I don't know like to really um get the full pretty much the full playboy model experience it was just so amazing um thank you to the crew um from Naked News um it was such a pleasure to have you guys there on set as well and um it was just so amazing like I really enjoyed the whole experience I loved as much as this may, you know, alarm people, although it shouldn't be really shocked, I really loved posing my lingerie and I really loved posing nude. It was just such a wonderful experience and everybody was so friendly. And on that note, Naked News, I think because we're ahead of time in Australia, they may have already aired it by now, but they aired my seg segment not long ago. And, um... Or it might be coming up, I'm not too sure. But basically, they were meant to... Yeah, they, they've aired it Sunday time in Canada. So, for those of you who may have seen it, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Otherwise, um... Otherwise, yeah. So, otherwise, I will be posting it very soon myself for everyone to see. So, it's gonna... It's it's a really cool behind-the-scenes video. And, um... Anthony and myself 
um, was were interviewed afterwards as well. So there's a lot of interesting stuff in there, and I hope you I hope you guys all enjoy it when it comes out. So um, yeah, so whilst I'm on that topic, yeah, so this this was my fifth time posing for Playboy. It was such such an honor. It was just such an amazing experience, as I mentioned before. I really enjoyed the whole thing, and to be honest, like to to go to america in general and to go to canada was such a phenomenal phenomenal experience um i really had such an amazing time like i i really did it was just one of the most amazing and happy experiences and places i had ever been to and i i i can't really explain it any more than that like i just I just had such an amazing time and everybody there was like really friendly um like I just really enjoyed the whole experience and I, I it's something that I'll never forget and I I will forever cherish so to everyone um who I met and worked with and you know just to everyone I met over there thank you so much for making my first experience in North America such a memorable one and such a such an amazing and fun time because that's what I guess I think that's the best you can come out of it you can you, I mean you can achieve so much you can do so much but if you come back with like a really great experience and really warm memories it really makes it just makes a huge difference and it's just something that can't be bought so yeah on that note as a lot of you may know I have something right here for you guys hopefully I can put this on properly I don't know can you see that so yeah, I'm a playmate now, so I just thought I'd get these little bunny ears to kind of like, um, put on and kind of like, yeah, just, I I thought it would like be a great addition to announcing my playboy or playmate status, so um, yeah, I've got my bunny ears now, so I'm so excited, and I don't know, like, would I say, would I, do I feel different? I I definitely feel, hold on, I might just sit back a little bit so you can see that. Yeah, that's better. I definitely feel like such, you know, I, f I really feel like more confident, more inspired. But, you know, this really fulfills me not only as a model or as an industry professional. It definitely inspires me a lot. Like, it definitely empowers me as a woman as well. And a lot of women out there you know, definitely can see, understand where I'm coming from, and it's just, like I said, the whole experience to shoot for that Playboy cover was so amazing, and um, yeah, on that note, thank you Playboy Croatia for um, naming me Playmate of the Month, and for having me as your cover model, it is truly an honour, and it's definitely something I'll cherish for the rest of my life, so yeah. <laughs> And, um, yeah, so I've got my bunny is now, and I'm really excited. I'm really hoping to, that, like, I'm definitely hoping to do, you know, more magazine features, whether that be in Playboy and Maxim. And by far, of course, I'm definitely going to, like, I'm definitely going to model for Playboy again, without a doubt. So <laughs> that's, that's definitely coming. That's definitely, like, set in stone. Um, but, yeah, so these are... So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really yeah. So um, I'm playmate Jasmine Shojai. I'm really excited to have achieved this sort of um, I guess you could say status. It 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 just truly is an honor. I'm like in a way I'm still kind of lost for words, but at the same time I'm just yeah I'm just so happy. So yay yay. So I'll just take these off now. Maybe I'll put them back on later. <laughs> anyway, um, so anyway, I'm going to have another zip of water. Sorry, guys. It just helps with the headache a little bit. But otherwise, I'm fine. So, yeah, I'm here now. I was just like, there's no way I'm skipping this. There's just no way. Everybody, like literally waited with their their butts for this so i'm definitely showing up i'm definitely like i could be in a car crash i would still show up but no um i i'm just yeah i i'm just so honored because there's been so many people following my journey and watching it and just 
you know, giving me some great feedback. So for all of those who have been watching my journey since day one, thank you so much. Or even those who caught up with my career later, thank you so much because, you know, it really means a lot to me, those simple things. And um, yeah, so just thank you to everybody who's been watching it and thank you um, specifically those recently who have um, congratulated me and given me some amazing feedback. Yeah, it just really means a lot to me, and um, yeah. <laughs> In the meantime, we have so many amazing projects coming up. Um, as I said, I definitely plan on, especially with my new Playmate status, I plan on, you know, um, modeling for Playboy more, um, you know, modeling for other magazines as well, such as Maxim, FHM, and, you know, many more. And, you know, I'm hoping to not only build up my modeling, if that makes sense, but I'm, well, I'm not only hoping, but I'm working on, on my acting as well. So my career as an actress is also very important to me. Um, even things like this, like talking to you, to you guys in front of the camera is, um, you know, it, it is, for me, it's like practice. It empowers me even more to you know, develop my acting skills and get up on stage or get up in, you know, um, on set and act and, you know, perform a role. And that's something that really inspires me as well. And, um, yeah, basically, there's just been so much happening. And, yeah, my career has been, has been going really, really well, considering that I, well, this month is my third year anniversary. So three years ago, I decided that I wanted to do a photo shoot, that I wanted to be a model, basically. I wasn't really sure what was gonna happen. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna do a photo shoot straight afterwards or anything. But, you know, once I was there, I was just so happy. And I was just like, you know what? This is my place. This is, this is where I wanna be. Like, it was just such a happy environment and I was really comfortable in front of the camera surprisingly so I I definitely surprised myself it was quite interesting there and it was just it was such a memorable experience like I still remember it pretty well and you know ever since then I, I never looked back so here I am now talking to you guys <laughs> no. um, and yeah, there's just been a lot happening, you know, with my acting, I'm definitely looking to progress in that. I was recently in the film called The Alliance, produced by Robert L. Butler. So Robert is the director and the main character of the film, and I'm pretty much the girlfriend in the film. So you see me in a couple of scenes, scenes. I have a little bit of um, dialogue as well of course so there's you know there's definitely like the two characters I'm love so I play Anastasia so Anastasia um is in love with the main character and you know she's a girlfriend she really misses him all the time it seems like they don't really see each other that often either and she's always modeling doing other things so in in the in the film my character is the model as well <laughs> Um, but yes, yeah, so I'd like to thank Robert for having me, you know, in the film. It, it was just truly an honor and, you know, definitely such a great experience as well. Um, I'd like to thank, um, Benita Vasquez, um, for pretty much having me part of the film as well. Um, we originally connected and, or networked and, you know, he thought I was really talented and decided to recommend me for the film so and um so Benito is the director of photography and the part of the production team so yeah it was really great working with Benito as well and it was such yeah it was truly an honor and yeah I'd just like to thank um, both of you and everyone I met on set because the whole experience was so amazing and to have that as my that experience um as my first filming experience was just, yeah, was just so great. So thank you so much, guys. I, I really appreciate it. So the Alliance, I believe, um, is still in production. So they are still obviously filming the rest of the movie. And I believe it will either be later this year, if not, it will obviously be, obviously be 2019 until it's released. Um, in the meantime, 
you can, you know, check out a lot of my um, film experiences online. To be exact, you can also find me on IMDb. So for those of you who don't know, IMDb is a professional um, network or like site full of actors, actresses, um, producers, directors, TV shows and movies themselves are listed there and even the individual episodes I'm pretty sure. And um, so that's a really large network. Most of you should know it, but in case you don't, it's IMDB in full caps. And yeah, you can pretty much search me there. Or I'm pretty sure my IMDB profile does come up when you search up Jasmine Shojai on the Google search bar. So basically, yeah, it's, it mentions um, a little bit you know, where I was born and all that, and it has a few photos of me, and it has um, my recent film, The Alliance, listed on that um, profile as well. So, yeah. And, yeah, so basically there's a lot happening, and as I brief briefly mentioned, you can find other footage of me online, and um, my website's probably one of the best places for it. There is a page just dedicated to my show called JSM TV. So JSM TV is all about my experiences um, in the industry. Basically like my little reality show, my little behind the scenes show. So it shows, it captures all the moments um, behind the scenes as if you were, you were actually there when the photo shoot took place. So, and you know, I usually talk a little bit about my experience um, on set and you know, other stuff that may be going on. So it's, it's a really, you know, it's a really cool concept. Um, alternatively, um, that the other good place obviously would be my YouTube channel, which is pretty much the main source of Jason TV. So if you look up Jasmine Shojai Model TV on YouTube or even just on Google, it will bring up the YouTube link up in the, in the results. So if you look that up and you head over there, you'll see all my latest videos and yeah, so there's quite a lot of them on there. So um, my first behind the scenes video in the United States, um, that was taken in Los Angeles to be exact. So that's on there as well. And yeah, you can watch that. It's, it's a pretty cool video and I had such an amazing time during that shoot, I was working with a really professional and renowned photographer called Arthur St. John. So it was such an honor to work with him. I really enjoyed the whole experience. I, I just really, you know, enjoyed the entire tour. It was just so amazing to work with such talented and professional um, photographers and, and directors and such. So yeah, it was, it was really good. And yeah, moving forward, um, I definitely will be coming back to North America without a doubt. So, yeah, just it's 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 definitely happening. A lot of you would have already seen my um, would have already seen my statuses from time to time. How much I miss the United States. How much I want to go back. Like, oh my god, I like I installed Foxtel so that I could watch American TV basically within a week of arriving back. I was just like, you know what? This is just shit. I'm not, I'm just gonna like install Foxtel, you know, subscribe, pay for it. And just, yeah, that way I can watch all the amazing shows I miss that I was watching in, in the United States basically. And, um, oh, anyway, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Like, um, there's so many cool shows you can watch, so I'm watching, like, I, I like to watch random stuff sometimes. Sometimes I will stick to one show and just watch that all the way through. So it just depends, I guess. It's not like I'm so particular that it has to be a certain way, basically. Mm -hmm. But I'm watching The Shards of Sunset a little bit. I'm watching, I'm watching Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Um, I'm watching, I'm watching the, oh my god, the, the court show, what, um, The People's Court. And Judge Judy and then there was another one where there's like three judges um, <laughs> oh my gosh I, I I don't know like I was talking to my American manager Sean the other day I said is, is it bad that I find the show like humorous is it bad that I find these court shows humorous rather than 
serious basically and um he said no <laughs> anyway um so to me that they're, they're pretty entertain entertaining it's 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 funny to see what kind of um like cases there are and what people are battling each other against so it's quite funny in a way and um yeah so <laughs> i'm watching that right now and i'm like okay this is this is pretty good i i can keep sitting and, and it is addictive like the other day i was like meant to do a few things i was meant to go in the shower and like it was just there and i was like yeah i was just like i can't get away from this like i have to keep watching this like i want to know what's happening i want to know who wins <laughs> So anyway, that's what I'm watching at the moment. It's 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 kind of sad, maybe a little bit, but um, yeah, it's it's an interesting show. At, le at least in my opinion, I guess everyone's into different things, and um, but at the moment, that's definitely one of my favorite shows: The People's Court and Judge Judy. So yeah. <laughs> um, oh, my hair looks nice. <laughs> I just noticed that now. Um. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I've had such an amazing adventure the last, yeah, pretty much the last six months or so. I've been so busy, I've been so, like, even so tired in a way. Like, I get home, I've had such a busy day, and I know there's more stuff to do tomorrow, which is great. I think it's good to be busy rather than not busy, because if you're not doing anything, or if you, if you don't have any sort of plans or projects coming up, um, Particularly in my industry, I would consider it bad. But um, I think in anything, anything would be bad because then, in a way, you're kind of wasting your time doing nothing. And I'm at the opposite. I'm where I, I think I'm at a point where quite often, if not every time, I'm doing too much. And and I said to myself, you know what? I want to have a break. I, I'm gonna like find the time to just do me things and do something that's just not modeling or work related just you know relax sit down watch tv you know i do that from time to time obviously watching watching my court shows um and it, it's no it's great um basically yeah basically i said to myself like i i've been so busy like i've been really busy but it's great like i i definitely can see my career going really fast um particularly ever since this recent playboy cover <laughs> and um yeah things have just been going extremely well and i'm just so happy i i definitely don't want to just like stop there and not continue or slow down at least not slow down so much that I'm not really doing much anymore if that makes sense so basically I want to keep it going um, I do want to find some time to for myself I you know I do want to just like enjoy everything as, as best as I can so I'm gonna do that I'm definitely gonna do that and um, yeah <laughs> And again, I wanted to apologize, um, especially for those of you who are just seeing this. Sorry for starting a little bit late. I had I had an unplanned migraine attack right before, so I had to take some painkillers. I had to drink some water, have a couple of um, have a couple of lollies, just to kind of give myself a little bit of a boost. So all I know for sure is after this, I'm definitely going to eat a really, <laughs> really good meal. Um, I find that really helps, um, at least with a migraine, drinking plenty of water and having plenty, having a sufficient meal afterwards, you know, kind of revitalizes it. And then usually the next day or so it's gone. But, um, I definitely, I definitely remember someone telling me she had a migraine where it, I don't know if it was like fully or partially or in what way, because it, it never has happened to me before. And I never saw it happen, like when... I never witnessed it myself so she said she would get a like pretty much a migraine where half of her body would be paralyzed and she'd have a really heavy head and she would basically be throwing up and I've heard that before and I'm like oh wow <laughs> so um yeah, I'm glad, I'm really glad that my migraines haven't gone to that extent before. They have been really bad, but at the moment I've 
found a way how to counteract them. Um, I don't know if this was Josh, but see, we had we had two sets of painkillers. We had the normal ones, and then we had ones that are liquid tablets that usually work a lot faster. I don't know where the liquid ones went. So I had a little mini mini like heart attack. I was like, oh my gosh, no. But no, I took the other ones and I was okay. But yeah, different things work differently or work better for different people. So that's the third. That's the first thing I'll be asking you, Josh. Where are my liquid painkillers? <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Like other than that, I I like to stay healthy. I like to you know, I like to have my snacks as well. I'm at the moment I am addicted to chocolate. Like chocolate is just so addictive right now for me um I'm like constantly eating it like I have a pretty like fast metabolism but then I'm thinking I don't want to like overdo it and then later on in life or maybe even within the next few months like get really <laughs> pretty much just gain an unnecessary unnecessary amount of weight <laughs> not anyway I don't think that'll happen to me anytime soon but I um and the other week I was, you know, I've been running around doing so much, so many different things. And basically, um, you know, the other week, I swear throughout the entire seven days, like not obviously in one go, but spread over the seven days, I swear I had about seven blocks of chocolate. So I, I looked back and I was like, okay, how am I managing to do that? And like I'm still, you know, and, and still stay in shape basically, or not like get on a sugar high and start running around everywhere. But no, I reckon cause I've been so busy and that, and because there's been so many things going on, I'm basically um, at that point where it's just, you. it just, and the, the, the sugar essentially just gets used up and goes towards the energy I need to doing all these different things at once. So. Um, so not, not a bad thing that that's one tip. Um, if you can, if you're doing so much, if you're really busy, um, there's nothing wrong with eating chocolate because most likely it will go towards all, like it'll go towards your energy and you'll end up using it or burning it off anyway. So, um, so yeah, um, I don't know if there's any girls here, but you know what? Um, I was just going to say like, you know, I want to talk a little bit my... A little bit about my look today um, so yeah so I'll, I'll come in a bit further <laughs> so I'm wearing a Chanel longwear foundation I am I don't know if this camera is the best at displaying it but no it's pretty good it's pretty good um, I'm wearing I'm wearing a mix for the eyeshadow I'm wearing like yeah that's it <laughs> Anastasia Beverly Hills um, like dark eyeshadow on the outer corners on the like on the middle and the, and on the in, inner corners I'm wearing a I'm pretty sure it's by models prefer so that's I'm pretty sure that's only in Australia but I'm not too sure I could be wrong um, I'm wearing that eyeshadow on the inner corners and obviously in the middle if you can see that and um, I'm wearing I'm wearing a very simple like just eyeliner pencil like I have really dark eyes and I found like everyone has different pr preferences but I found in my case especially when I apply the pencil on pr like properly um I didn't need a strong thick black eyeliner because I didn't really like I, I prefer that classy look at the moment it looked too much like a texture tech yeah a texture at least on me because um like, it, I didn't want to look like I just, like, grabbed a permanent marker and just went over, like, put it all over like that. I, I, I find, I find that look kind of, yeah, I just, I'm not a fan of that look. So, um, basically, I, yeah, basically, I'm not a fan of that look at all. So, I just, I prefer to use a really light gel liner, or as of recent, I use a pretty much, pretty much just an, yeah, pencil. So, that's what I'm using for my eyes at least. I'm wearing um, Isla, Isla False Lashes. So all my, it might be called Isla London to be exact. 
So yeah, they're a pretty good brand. I've used them so many times. I never had a problem. So basically they're really reliable. Another brand that I like using is I think Love Lashes. They're actually an American brand, I think. Um, then there's Ardell. But I found sometimes with Ardell, specifically speaking, if you don't take care of them properly. And then, I mean, yeah, a lot like accidents can happen. You know, you can squish them. They're really sensitive, right? And I found Ardell to be the ones that are more sensitive or they can bend more easily compared to others. I mean, I don't know. Or if you apply them and you make a mistake and you pull them off and, you know, that damages them as well. So basically I found with Ardell they're more sensitive in that aspect. And um, I can notice three of my, like, three, three guys are, are watching this. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure there's a few women out here and I'm thinking like I'm probably thinking what like are they are they understanding what I'm saying or are they just like sitting there going hmm I don't know what is she saying um so um basically um so this might help you guys because maybe maybe you want to do makeup on your girlfriend one day or something like that or do makeup for your sister or your mom you know it's it's pretty handy doing makeup is a lot of fun it, it, it really is you learn so many tips and tricks and and yeah so oh for my lip liner I'm wearing like Charlotte Tilbury so I know that isn't available in Australia at least not physically so every time you try to buy from Australia you have to buy it online and you know leading up to the United States I was like I'm not gonna go out and go out of my way and order it you know I'll have to pay for shipping and da 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 so I was like okay, why don't I just wait till I'm in the US and I get to try them myself. Like, they seem like a really cool, high-end glam company. Um, I'm pretty sure T Charlotte Tilbury herself is a professional makeup artist and she's done makeup for models and all sorts of celebrities mm -hmm. and stuff. So, yeah, basically I'm wearing a lip liner by Charlotte Tilbury. And in the middle is just... Um, it's a mix, so it's pretty much just a, a really cream nude, it's actually really light, to be honest, um, lipstick by Essence, and I'm wearing a shimmer lip gloss, the lip gloss is a little bit thick, like not too thick, but that just that little bit more thicker, or yeah, a little bit more thicker than a normal lip gloss, and that kind of adds like a shimmer to it, I may have lost it now, or may not be that obvious in these, um, in this camera view anyway so I'm wearing that um I'm wearing yeah I'm wearing long wave foundation by Chanel the powder on top is by oh my gosh I can't speak French so this word's not going to come out right um Bourjois or something like that and it's it's a pretty good brand in Australia you can get it from Priceline um otherwise it's spelled b-o-u-r O I S. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty good brand. So um, I find it pretty good at least for the powder. So that's what I'm using. I put like not too much, but I use the right amount of powder basically. And I think how much makeup you use and how you or what you exactly do depends on what you're actually doing afterwards and what the look is that you're wanting to get and it, of course it depends on other factors like um, your skin type and your skin tone and etc so basically um for me i wanted like a little bit heavy not too heavy but heavy in the way like pretty much a good heavy so heavy in a way that it would cover everything up um it'd be perfectly covered because i'm facing the camera directly and i'm speaking to it and you know what i mean i i definitely want it to be covered very well and to look flawless so that's the kind of look i was going for and um then at the same time i wanted to last the whole night so i can go out for dinner afterwards so you know i i wanted to basically you know do that and um so with the eyebrows i don't tend to fill them in too much but then again like if you were here in real life they look more filled in than they do in front of the camera because sometimes the camera like the light can really shine out everything if that makes sense or brighten out so i just used a an angle a very thin angle brush like it's really tiny technically and um i chipped it on like 
a black pencil and I just filled it in that way. So rather than just using a pencil directly, I used a brush. Because um, it makes a more softer, natural look. But you can keep applying more layers to, to fill it in more, basically, if you want it to look heavier. But whatever you do, majority of the time, it won't look too heavy. Unless you, like, apply 20 coats, which you wouldn't do anyway. And it will come out fine. So that's what I did for that. And, of course, I used spreading, setting spray afterwards. I did a bit of baking, so that's the technique. Um, for those of you who don't know baking, it's pretty much you you spray your the sponge, you dip it into translucent powder, and you dab it in certain areas, particularly the areas that are the oil-prone areas. I did a little bit here to create some contrast in the cheekbone. I have pretty good cheekbones, but, you know, I wanted that little bit more contrast a little bit more dramatic you know what I mean that little bit more of a dramatic look so I did that but otherwise I applied the baking technique here there there under the eyes a little bit there and a little bit here as well so that's your t-zone that's like the oily section and yeah so <laughs> that's my makeup and for my hair I did like I mean my hair is pretty thick but I added a lot of volume spray a lot of hairspray I curled it really well because my hair is actually dead straight but um, it tends to look good when it's curly or wavy as well so I wanted to do that and because um, my hair is dead straight um, the curls don't really last too long if that makes sense like they last pretty long but not too long so I wanted to add a lot of product to to hold it there basically so yeah I'll try not to keep you guys too much longer so I'm just gonna try and check the time oh my god it's 728 well I yeah so this went a lot faster than I thought so I must have been having so much fun here hope you guys have had a lot of fun as well and yeah, so I'm just so happy. I'm, I'm really like, I'm really happy with how everything's going. I'm, I'm truly honored to have been published in, in Playboy. It's just like, it was my dream. It has always been my dream come true since like, since almost day one of my modeling career to, to be on the cover of Playboy, to, to pretty much, you know, inspire other women and other people in general, you know, and really be creative express myself express my sexuality and really just get out there and um you know do it in a really like stylish and like stylish central but yet classy sort of way if that makes any sense <laughs> um sometimes like i find that i use so many different words in the one sentence that it may not even make sense anymore like some people may say, well, how can something be central, classy, and creative at the same time? And then I go, I don't know, it just can. I mean, look, I've done it. So. Um, but basically, um, basically, it's, yeah, I, I just really like to express myself and express my sexuality. So this is, this was, this to me was such an amazing experience. And as I said before, and you know, I would do it over again and again and again. So again, um, thank you Playbook Croatia. Thank you Anthony Randall and, and thank you Naked News, the whole experience and the whole, um, it was just an honor to be on the cover of Playboy Croatia this month and to be part of the Playboy brand as usual. I love modeling for Playboy. It's it's always an amazing experience and yeah, it's definitely definitely one of the biggest um one of my favorite things when it comes to my career. So um that would that shouldn't surprise anyone really. Like who like in a way who wouldn't want to model for Playboy? But no. Um so yeah. So I, I can see a lot of people are coming into the conversation. And yeah, so hello. <laughs> um, but yeah, so a lot of things are developing. Another episode of JSM TV is coming up this year. So you just have to stay tuned. To be exact, mm -hmm. it is due to be released by the end of November or early December, the absolute latest. But that's definitely the deadline that we wanted to come up because basically um, I'll be talking in it again. 
and that's all I'm revealing. <laughs> One thing's for sure, I will be talking about my recent achievement of becoming a playmate and for and posing for the cover of Playboy. So that is something that I'll definitely be speaking about and how that whole experience went about and you know all that you know all that glam <laughs> and yeah I'll, I'll be talking about my tour and yeah as for the rest you'll have to wait until it's released and you'll have to watch it yourself so don't forget um to subscribe to my youtube channel um it's pretty much www.youtube.com slash jasmine shojai model tv so basically, if you look, yeah, if you look up J Jasmine Shojai Model TV on Google, it will definitely, it will definitely come up. If not, you can search it directly on YouTube. And yeah, it has all of my latest experiences, episodes of, yeah, pretty much my whole journey through modeling. And um, in fact, my recent one, Diamonds, at the moment is the second most popular one, or third to be exact. But, you know, funny enough, um, when I checked, a lot of different sites had shared the same video or the same footage. So it was really amazing. Um, one stated, supermodel Jasmine Shojai poses nude with diamonds or in diamonds or something or in diamond jewelry, something like that. <laughs> and yeah so it's, it's pretty cool it's 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 nothing like too raunchy or something like that it's it's actually a pretty beautiful video and in there i'm talking as well i'm talking about my acting and um, i'm pretty sure this was before i auditioned for the certificate for course at the drama school i'm going to so little did i know things were gonna kick off really well but um i i was talking in that particular episode that's when i first talk about my acting or first make mention of it so that's something definitely worth checking out on on my youtube channel it's called diamonds so yeah um please do subscribe it's you know always such a pleasure having all my fans and you know my other my peers in the industry to you know just to be part of the journey like it's there's some really awesome contact content in there including yeah my first behind the scenes um, film in the US so it's definitely worth checking out you definitely yeah you you won't be disappointed that's for sure so so yeah I'm um, going for time now I think we're gonna wrap it up in about five minutes or so yeah five minutes or so so <laughs> I won't I don't want to rush it but um, I did run late um, pretty much in about just under 10 minutes it will would have been just uh, almost an hour so that's pretty much when i was gonna do it up for but if anyone has any questions um please feel free to ask it right now because right now is the perfect time um if i get too many questions in at once i will answer them to the my best ability but i may not be able to answer all of them of course in the meantime you, if you have any professional inquiries if you have any even just fan inquiries, you can email, email us at joshshoemaker at jasmineshojai.com and from there we can answer all your inquiries. So, so yeah, and um, my website is www.jasmineshojai.com and that has pretty much everything on there. There will be some new content coming to my website soon, of course, and yeah, but otherwise it has all my amazing things on there or, and how to reach us. Uh, specifically speaking for industry professionals wanting to work with me whether it's in the near or even in the far future you know definitely you know get in touch with us you know mention any ideas or proposals you had or any projects that you, you you're looking to discuss um, I'm an experienced model and actress in training or as of recent I've done a film as an actress so I, I I definitely have all the skills there and I'm someone who is very passionate about what I do and I'm always o open to, you know, expanding from that, like learning more. So that's that's the kind of person um, I am at least. So, so yeah. So I, I'm really glad that everybody's enjoying this. Um, I'm really glad my migraine did not get in the way. <laughs> um, 
I'm really glad that everybody really enjoyed my recent cover for Playboy. It was just so uh, phenomenal. And, you know, as a woman, I really, I, I really like to express myself. I really like to, you know, put myself out there and show not just, you know, me, but show my talent, show what I can do as an individual and, you know, how I can work with other people as well. Because, you know, at, at the end of the, of the day, the, a photo shoot is teamwork like you may be the model and the photograph may be of you but yeah. all those other factors are into place like working with a photographer um you know having that connection so you know when they take the photograph you're able to pose at that exact moment and pose how you know you know pretty much pose confidently and work confidently with that person so who's going to an nrl grand final you know what i don't even know who's playing I honestly don't. Whether you find that sad or not, I don't care. <laughs> so I don't follow sports. I just, I just don't like. I, I, I'd rather watch Judge Judy. You know, if you ask me, what you know, what you, what I thought maybe about a court case on them, then I, I could maybe answer that one. <laughs> um, so basically, um. Basically, moving on, yeah, I'm always open to doing many, you know, many exciting projects, many new things, you know, I'm always open to discuss things as well. Um, I think a lot of people think, like, it's like a booking system sometimes, like, you send a job and then, you know what I mean? Like, we're happy just to discuss things as well, um, if, especially if it's something that's really complex and still in the making, like, we're definitely happy to hear about it. So, yes, please do contact us. Um, we also have a landline for those who would like to call us instead. So I will write or I will say it out as the international number. So it's plus six one because that's the Australian code. Um, then two. So plus six one two. Six one seven. Zero three seven. Four three. So yeah. So that again is plus six one two six one seven zero three seven four three. So basically, if you prefer to actually call us about inquiry, definitely feel free. Um, just keep in mind that you know, like an email, we don't know who you are, most like unless we've spoken to you before, of course. So please, like you know, address to us. Um, who you are, where you're from, what company you're from, you know, what you want to talk about. Um, so Josh or any of my other, of the other staff are happy to, you know, speak to you and, you know, discuss um, projects. So, um, oh, it's Roosters versus Melbourne Storm. I'll go for Roosters since that's, that's my hometown. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, basically a lot of exciting things have been happening. I really cannot wait for the many more exciting adventures to come. I have a lot of photo shoot shoots booked this month, including Tall Dark and Art's first workshop in Sydney. So I was truly honoured, um, and this was even, this was going back, um, was it two weeks ago now? Um, I was truly honoured, um, after modeling for the tall dark and art workshops back in melbourne twice now um, i'm truly honored for them to have me as their very first model in the sydney workshops so yes thank you so much thank you peter tyrell um the director of these work um these workshops and events for you know having me having me there not only to model but you know represent the whole you know company and you know just to be there be a part of the events it's always an honor and i've always enjoyed the workshops they have been so amazing and the photographers have been great so so yeah um, i'm really excited for that so that will be coming up later at the end of this month so oh is it this oh well technically the first of october is tomorrow for us so yes it's almost october so at the end of october so Almost at the end of this month, if you want to be exact. <laughs> um, so, yeah, thank you so much. And, yeah, just thank you, everybody, for following my journey. It's always such a pleasure. Um, so, yeah, again, I'm so proud to be a Playmate now. 
it's been my dream to become a playmate. It's been my dream to like pose for the cover on Playboy. So that's one box ticked. But you know what? I have a huge feeling that I'm going to be on the cover of many more Playboys to come, many more magazines to come. And one of my biggest goals, as I may have mentioned to a lot of people in the past, has been to to be on the cover of play the original Playboy. So um, America's Playboy magazine. And, you know, even just to be featured in that, but obviously, you know, to be in the cover of that would be so phenomenal. That would be like my ultimate dream and you know a lot of people have said it's changed since the day and you know i totally get that and um oh i really suit these <laughs> um but you know i think there's still so much potential in, in all the editions of playboy and um i'm still a huge fan of playboy america so yeah stay tuned sooner or later i will be yeah i'll be achieving that and i'll be on the cover of Playboy USA so yeah <laughs> and yeah again any questions um, people are more than welcome to ask them as I think we have about five minutes to go I'm not sure but um yeah basically we have five minutes to go if my phone wants to do it but um I'm just gonna guess that that's the case um but yeah, I'm like truly honored to be a playmate. It's just such an amazing experience. Like I'm still overwhelmed like two days later, just going, ah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, like I'm just, I'm just truly honored. Like it's just, it's such a huge thing for me. It, I mean, it's not just that, it means so much to me. It's that important to me. I'm, I'm that passionate about it that you know, this was just something I was really waiting for or really working hard towards to achieve. And now that I'm there, it, it's for one second, like it was almost hard to believe. But then when I looked at myself in the mirror, when I looked at everything that I've done and, and I, when I looked at this cover, I was like, yeah, this is it. Like I am a playmate. I, you know, I, I worked so hard to get to get there. And yeah, now I'm here. <laughs> so, um, it's just been an amazing experience this whole journey and I'd like to thank everybody so much for watching this. Um, thank you for following my journey. Thank you for all your amazing feedback. I, I love you guys. I love you all. And um, yeah, so <laughs> so for now I will be basically be going offline. But yeah, I'd just like to, to thank everybody who watched this. I hope you all enjoyed my second live broadcast. And again, sorry for running late. I think this tends to happen often in a way. But um, as I said before, I you know I always want to you know I always want to be there for my fans as well. I always want to stick to my um, stick to my projects, stick to my career, and yeah, stick to my broadcast. So hopefully next time there won't be any bumps. Hopefully next time it will just be smooth sailing. But on the technical side of things, because I know the first time I had some te technical issues, um, this device that I've set up today has worked really well. No technical issues whatsoever. Of course, if you did experience anything, let us know, because then from there we can improve. Um, any glitches that may have happened but from what I can see this whole time um, the live broadcast has run very smoothly and has gone so well I'm so happy about that so I know in the future there's going to be um, very little to no technical issues so yeah but anyway thanks guys I hope you all enjoyed watching tonight and or today wherever you may be and I hope you guys I hope everyone has an amazing weekend Bye.